today is Thursday. No, it's, oh my gosh, I'm so losing track of time. Today is Tuesday? <laughs> is it Tuesday? Oh my goodness, y'all. Yes, it's Tuesday, July 5th. Yesterday was my last day of quarantine. Um, as you guys know from the previous vlog that <clears throat> I had COVID and this cough is lingering and it's like my voice is really hoarse right now. Is it large ice vanilla cookie? Yes, please. Thank you. All right, you guys, so I am on my way to Nissan and Milk Road and it's funny because they give you like complimentary coffee there and snacks and whatnot, but that means I would have to touch everything that everyone else touched. And even though I was careful of touching things, oh, I gotta watch my speed because I have the donut in my car and I'm not supposed to go over 55 and it's really hard. All these cars are passing me and yeah, anyway, so even though I was careful before of what I touched and stuff like that, I'm even going to be more careful now because of me having COVID and, you know, what I went through. So, um, I will not be taking their free snacks or coffee. No, thank you. Yesterday was the 4th of July and didn't get to do anything. I did see a few fireworks from inside my house. Um, so yeah, my 4th of July was spent in the house. Well, I had to because, you know, I had to quarantine. But my kids had an option to go other places. Um, my son did. So he went off and he enjoyed his 4th. But the girls just stayed home. Cheyenne did her hair. And Savannah stayed home. And I was in my room. So after I get my tire fixed, I am going to not roam around town, but I have a few errands that I need to run, things that I didn't get a chance to do um, the day that I got sick. So yeah, just a few little things and I have my sanitizer here and I'm going to put my mask on before I get out my car. So I better watch my speed. I keep going fast and yeah. So tire is on and I am back in business. So fingers crossed, no more nails in the tires. And I think it could honestly be the road that I take to go to work. Anyway, I am on my way to Walmart now. They got done pretty quick. I could have placed a Walmart order, but I didn't want to pay the extra $10 for delivery. So I'm just gonna go run in and get what I need and run out. I'm not gonna be out very long today. And like I said, I'm not shopping or anything like that. And I'm off until Thursday. Did I tell you guys that? So I have two more, actually one more day. So today and tomorrow to relax and do whatever and don't have to be confined to my room. I've lost my voice. Sometimes when I try to speak a little bit louder, to me I sound like a 12 year old boy whose voice is changing. Coughing and my um, vocal cords are tired because they hurt. Not hurt, but you know what I'm saying. So. That's one of the after effects. I've kind of lost my voice. Anyway, and yeah, I'm excited about actually being in church. Even though I've been watching it online, it's different. It hits differently when you're actually there. So, yeah, you guys. Um, nothing exciting is going on. It's been uneventful. I do feel fine, you guys, which is great. But I just get really tired right now. And sure that's an effect of COVID and hopefully it doesn't last that long but I get winded easily so yeah
motorcycle. Anyway, good morning. It is Saturday. I'm the only one that's up right now. I went to bed super early last night, but I was so tired at work yesterday. Had something for dinner later on, and I started watching TV, and I was the only one here. Shine and Savannah went to a church function in Modesto, and Tariq was out with friends, so it was just me. And I fell asleep, and then after a while, I'm like, you know what, let me get off this couch and go to bed. So that's what I did, and... It was super early. Now I'm up, wide awake. But yeah, I had the doors open, the front door and the back door, just to let the air circulate before it gets too hot today. I'm about to say too cold. Um, yeah, and then you guys see I show when I'm burning my candles and diffuser, and then I put my um, candle warmer on in the kitchen because I just like my house to smell good. Yeah, nothing on the agenda today. Nothing at all. Just me sitting here doing nothing. Y'all know the story of my life of as of now. So you guys, a co-worker of mine went to Hawaii like during a week that I was out. So yesterday when I got back in, she brought me some souvenirs. I know she said she was gonna bring something for us, but she knows I like shot glasses and I collect them even though I, I don't use them because you guys know I don't drink. So yeah, isn't it cute? Just says Hawaii and has little flip flops on it. Blue, red, and then pink. Super cute. And then also she says she thought it was a coaster, but it's a refrigerator magnet. So that was nice of her to think of us. And she brought like keychains and magnets for the other um, people that's on our team. But yeah, she knew that I like shot glasses, so I think this was very nice of her. Okay, so I will put this right here on the refrigerator. Edna, I still have your picture up here. <laughs> and of course, you guys know where this is going. Even though I've never been, I will one day and I'll get my own. But until then, I'm thankful that I have that one. And yes, it's empty, but this one is completely full. You guys seen this before, so yeah, I'm working on filling my other one there. And also, you guys, there's a lot of things that I'm ordering for my living room. So I just got two sets of sheer panels. Um, there's two in each of them, so four total for my sliding glass door here so what I wanted to do was have like these plantation shutters type thing that open and I have had several not several but maybe three different people come out and give me a quote one quoted me like 4,000 one quoted like little over 3,000 and one was like 8,000 that's not happening so anyway it's something that I do want to do and of course I'm gonna go with the one who gave me the lowest quote but honestly you guys I don't want to wait forever because if I wait for that it's gonna be a while because I have the money but y'all know I need my roof done so I don't want to take away from that I already had to take away from my brakes but if I try to pull 4000 out, I'm going to be almost starting from scratch, saving again for my roof. And I really need my roof done, you guys. So, I've made the decision, which I think is wise for now. Even though I don't want curtains at all, don't want curtains up anymore. I'm going to have curtains. But I'm just going to decorate it in a way that it looks nice. So, yeah, um... These are the actual curtains, of course, because you can see through these, they're sheer panels. The way I'm going to do it, it's going to be nice, and it's going to be temporary until I actually get what I want. So, when you guys do see the reveal video, I'm going to explain in there, you know, the reason why I'm waiting also. But, yeah, I won't be getting that right now because I'm already getting furniture. Have you guys seen The Boys? It's about superheroes that are bad but some are good anyway 
it's the last episode of the season season three and it's a whole mess it's so good but it's so intense yeah have you guys seen it it's called the boys good morning everyone it is sunday i'm excited today because today is my first sunday back after being out for like two weeks from church so I'm excited. I'm ready to get things going and I'm so glad I recovered in time because today is my church's fifth anniversary and no we have not been there five years. Actually July 24th will be one year that we have been at the church where we at now. So yeah my church has been a church for five years so they're having an anniversary service today and they have a guest preacher coming and then they're gonna have food and like activities afterwards so it's gonna be really awesome and i'm about to hop in a shower get ready for church i'm so excited i'm so excited i'm going back to church y'all all right you guys i am on my way to church i'm so excited and savannah is in the car with me she just doesn't want to be seen right now even though she's beautiful but whatever i'm not gonna force her to be on the camera Anyway, um, like I said, I'm on my way to church. I'm excited because I was telling you guys earlier, today is their fifth anniversary service. And a guest preacher is going to be there. And I'm, I left a little bit earlier because our church is big, but it's not big. And I'll put a video up here where you guys can see what I mean. But another church is gonna be coming and they invited other people. And so I just don't wanna have to sit in the back you know how you get a certain spot where you like sitting and you, that's your seat. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. I want to make sure I get my spot in the front and not front row or anything like that. But I sit like within the first five rows. So that's what I want to do. That's the reason why I'm leaving earlier. And yeah, I'm excited. And I will try to get some footage um, from the service and put it in here. That way you guys can see. that it's much later <laughs> it's still the same day but it's much later and church was awesome the thing afterwards was awesome the music was awesome I wasn't able to get a video of them singing or anything like that but it was awesome I went to Winco Ooh, excuse me. and then I went to Kaiser to pick up some medicine because I still have a lingering cough from having COVID and I have coughing fits and so my doctor gave me these tiny little pills they're called pearls or something like that where it helps suppress your cough so <clears throat> that has actually been helping so I only went to those two places today and then I came home and we have been relaxing the whole day um, and yeah, I took pictures of my couch, both couches, and I put it on Facebook Market and on OfferUp, and I am getting messages already. The first person who messaged me, it feels kind of sketch, and they were saying, okay, my brother can come right now and pick it up. Honey, it's 9 o'clock at night. Um, that's not happening, number one. Number two, and she asked me if I had Zelle. I told her I prefer cash and nothing so yeah and then a guy just messaged me now my sister can do tomorrow morning but do you have Zelle so I can make the payment okay I have to go change my listing to cash only so they won't even ask me about that because there are so many Facebook marketplace Zelle scams that I'm not even gonna even try and you may think oh yeah you're gonna get the money but it's what they do after they get your information so no honey I'm so sorry and it's funny because um, those two people that I messaged um, well that messaged me after I said no I only accept cash nothing no response nothing yeah okay we are in Stockton at Dillard's because we do not we are in Stockton no. <laughs> at Dillard's because we don't have one in Sacramento. So we are visiting 
Let's say a Saturday, probably not. It's Saturday, happy Saturday. Okay, so we are back home and I bought two shirts from Dillard's. I will show you guys later. But we also went to like a thrift, do thrift store in Stockton, which is supposed to be like the best one out there. By the time I got there, it was it was like in the ghetto, in the hood, and, and whatever, and we just wanted to come home. So it's good in the hood. That's what she said. Anyway, so we didn't buy anything from there, and kind of like just wanted to get home because the area looks sketchy. But yeah, I found two shirts from Dillard's, and and we walked around the mall there. What? Yes, I did. You're welcome. Thanks. Mm -hmm. So now we're home, and. We're gonna go get ramen later for dinner. And that's it, you guys. Nothing is happening today, absolutely nothing. And on that box right there is just something that I ordered from Walmart for my living room. Y'all know I'm still in the process of doing it. It's a slow process, but I gotta find everything that I want. Perfect, yeah. Sunday. I don't think I said that. I didn't vlog a lot yesterday after we came back from Dillard's. But anyway, this is one of the shirts that I got and I absolutely love it because of the sleeves and you can dress it up or down and I'm going to wear this to church today. Um, I'm going to bring out some of like the orange that's in it. I don't know. Let me see. It's in my closet. So that way it's I just brought it out into the light so that way you guys can see it a little bit more. And I also got this shirt every day shirt um just to wear but yeah i thought these were oops super cute and they looked really good on so oh my goodness you guys so you know how i have these chairs here right and the covers which are not on them now because i can take them off and wash them and put them back on i got these from ikea well actually i take that back a co-worker of mine years ago got these from ikea and she changed the look of her house so i actually bought them for her i bought them from her like dirt cheap so the chair covers every time one would get stained really really bad i would go back to ikea and i would get one or whatever they're discontinued now right so i took them off this morning i'm working from home i'm on break but i took them off this morning to wash them and i put some bleach on one because one was really 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 stained y'all look what happened the other two are just fine but this one <laughs> oh yeah it got the stain out but it also ripped it apart ripped it apart so bad this is i just have to throw this away i can't even repair it i can't fix it it will look horrible so yeah and now i don't know what i'm going to do because these chairs these bar stools have been discontinued at ikea and so have the chair covers so that's awesome. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday. It is seven o'clock. I'm so tired, but I'm gonna go back to sleep probably. My, I don't know if I told you guys this, my mom is in town. But she's actually been staying with my brother and his wife because she wanted to spend time with the little baby, my little niece. She's so cute. Um, her name is Maria, and I showed you guys a picture of her. She's so cute. Anyway, so my mom wanted to spend time over there with her and help uh, my sister-in-law take care of the baby because she's still on maternity leave. So, yeah, she was over there enjoying the baby. And she's actually leaving today, and she texted me and asked if she can come over to pick up her picture. Uh, let me tell you guys. So you guys know how I'm changing up things in my living room. Well, the picture that I bought, and you guys have seen this picture before. And I bought it from Hobby Lobby years and years ago before I even started vlogging, I think. Yeah. And I was so in love with this picture. 
and let me show you guys. You guys have seen it. It was right there on the wall and I put it over there after I painted it and I was so determined to keep this picture. I'm like, I don't care. I don't care if it doesn't match. I know it's dark like everything used to be, but I'm like, I'm going to keep it there because I love it and I don't want to give it away and I still love it, right? So ever since I painted the walls, I keep looking at the picture and I'm like, I still love it, but it's just so it throws everything off i was going to just use it and not care but i keep looking at it and yesterday it, i was just like you know what it can't stay in there and so my thought is okay when eventually one of my children move out for good i was going to change the room or whatever and put it in there and i'm like no who knows when that's going to be because i'm not rushing my kids to move out and I'm like I would hate to give it away to Goodwill or to try to sell it because I just love this picture so much so I texted my mom and I know she loves pictures and I told her I said do you want this if not don't take it because I love it I just don't want to see it go to Goodwill or whatever and you may wonder what's so fancy or special about that picture I don't know just something about it that I love and y'all know I look crazy I just woke up but anyway um so she's coming pick up the picture at least it's going to a good home. I get to see it every now and then when I do go visit her in L.A. So, yeah. That's the reason why I'm up at 7 a.m. She's also taking, like, a few of the pillows from the couch that I'm not going to use anymore. So, yeah. Y'all, the painting is gone. My mom came by and got it. Much later in the day, I'm just now picking up the camera again. But I have been watching the show on Netflix called Remarriage and Desires. It's a Korean movie. It is so good. Um, I'm on the eighth episode. I sat here and watched it all today. It's so good. It's filled with so much drama and whatever. So if you guys are into Korean shows and movies and or whatever, check this out. It's really good. It's a whole lot of drama and I just like it. But yeah, I just wanted to show you that the painting is gone. She's gone. I'm so sad. But it'll match my mom's house better. Step one. Wake up, brother, gonna ride the sun. Step two. Get some good, some food in you. Step three. Think real hard about what you want to be. Step four. Everybody just do your thing. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. So I don't think I told you guys this, but I did get some new baking pans and they are, I was going to say Ray Dunn, they are um, the Rachel Ray brand. And I know last time when I got my Rachel Ray pots, some of you guys were saying that her pots are garbage, they're trash, and they um, wear out easily or rust or whatever. And honestly, you guys, I have not had an issue with any of my Rachel Ray pots and I cook often, or if I'm not using it, one of the kids are using it. So I have no problem with her line. So that's the reason why I bought more pans and they came in yesterday. So I'm just gonna throw everything in a dishwasher so it can be ready for when we need to use it. Well, hello, it is Friday. I'm at home, it's Friday evening actually. It's just me. The kids went to a church function and yeah, it's just me. So you guys, I signed up for the gym again, which it's overdue, it's time. Um, I need to start taking back control of my life in that area. So yeah, um, starting on Monday and actually Monday I have an appointment with a personal trainer oh so I'm getting rid of these couches I know I told you guys that before working like crazy trying to get rid of these couches and it's weird because on face I have it on Facebook market and on offer up there's a few groups on Facebook that you can join to put your things that you're selling up there also and whatever but the majority of people are asking me can I deliver it no I cannot I think that's what is wrong with a lot of couches I heard conflicting things I heard that oh yeah you put it on Facebook market and it's so quick and then I heard that any couch that you put on there won't sell because people 
don't want to come get it or they want you to deliver it or something like that I don't know and maybe it's because they're not looking for what I have which is fine personal preference I'm not mad but anyway I have someone coming to pick up the furniture on the 15th which is next Monday um, like a week and two days and then we'll be without furniture in here for three days which is no big deal remember I was telling you guys before I didn't want to have like two week a two week gap and then have nothing in here so no big deal we can wait um, a few days but yeah my furniture is ready to be delivered I'm so excited I want it now I want it now but gotta wait gotta wait so that's the good news you guys my furniture is coming and it's going to be delivered and going back to the gym so yeah and savannah signed up also she's going to be going as well so that's the only updates in my life you guys nothing really going on um did i tell you the kids went to a church event yeah i think i did and i'm gonna stop really giving detailed information on tyreek because baby karen is stalking him here and yeah, that's all I'm gonna say about that. Y'all already know. If you know, you know. Morning is Monday. Seem like you guys are getting like bits and pieces from here and there, but that's is my life right now. So sorry there have not been full all day vlogs, but this is what you get. Anyway, um, today is Monday. I am on my first break and I'm actually about to go make breakfast. And today, I'm the only one here right now. We are all at work, which is very weird because all of our schedules are usually different, but there's always someone home. There's always someone home with me when I'm here. And the fact that, I mean, I'm not afraid to be home alone, but the fact that um, everyone is at work and they're not in the house is one of the rare occasions because if I go into the office there's someone home one or two people or I don't know it just varies so yeah everyone is at work I'm the only one here I'm still at work but I'm just working from home today you guys know um what is going on today so I'm going to my training appointment today I think I told you guys I rejoined the gym and I have a complimentary training session today um, for one hour Savannah and I and if the girl is really good I don't know I may just I may invest in this you guys the time that I take care of myself and invest in me and things that I want to do yeah that's the only thing I have planned today after work is getting um, going to the gym and um yeah that's it okay um breaks y'all it is much later it's after work i've already been to the gym and this lady kicked my butt which is good and even the things that she showed me how to do at least i can do on my own and yeah my arms are sore um, which is good kind of weak as I'm holding up the camera right now It's feeling kind of shaky, but you know, that's a good thing I know what to do to lose weight and to get healthy. I just need to do it. So I needed a boost. I needed Motivation I needed Whatever I needed I got it. So yeah um, I'm not going to the gym tomorrow because I'm going to see my niece for the first time and if she lets me I will record a little bit of it and show you guys so I'm gonna do that tomorrow and then um, I'll be back at the gym on Wednesday because we don't have church this Wednesday because we have a conference this weekend and Wednesday he said is a day for people to go in and clean or do whatever so there's no church and then we have the conference this weekend so I'll go back to the gym on Wednesday and yeah you guys I'm so motivated to start this journey and again but it's okay I'm, I ain't dead yet so as long as there's breath in my lungs and I'm able body I can do this um, I've done it before 
and I'll do it again and this time I'm putting it out there I'm manifesting it that I'm not gonna have to go back and do it all over again yeah yeah so anyway um, that's it for now mm -hmm.